Now, these guys are nuclear reactor parts manufacturers, and they called us so that we could come up and test out to see how well the scanners we sell at visionminer.com slash scanners are and how much better this would really perform for them than the ferro arm that they've been using for the last few years. So we went over to their place to showcase exactly how it would work in their workshop for this demo. If you're starting a business or something, this is something you can do. If you have one of these scanners and a good laptop, go anywhere and provide a scanning service and make a good living just with one of these scanners. Here we are, Cinertech PM, look at that. All right, it's gonna be a good part. We actually brought the Einscan HX and the Freescan combo because they're both super fast, very accurate, and very versatile. They're like the Swiss Army knives of 3D scanners with their blue lasers, structured light, and infrared. They're perfect for the tricky stuff in these guys' nuclear reactor parts. From the metallic, shiny, dark surfaces that you might encounter in a machine shop like this, it should get all the information without a problem. Now, the part that we're going into scan today is an absolutely gigantic machined piece that's actually going to be put into a pressure vessel and essentially turned into solid metal. So what they need to do is actually validate the size and dimensions of the part that they created after fabrication to make sure they nailed it and did it correctly, which you can do with both these scanners. Now, as we were demonstrating to these guys, scanning with the HX is very, very simple. You pretty much just need to spend some time to ensure that you hit all the sides of the different objects of whatever it is you're scanning and make sure that all that data that's been collected is good and solid data. When I'm using structured light mode, I want to pick an area that has some features as my anchor point. So then if I scan over here and it loses tracking, I can come back to where it knows where it's at. So I'm just going to hit go. This one. Now what I'm always watching, if I go like this, then the, it's being blocked. Like the bottom camera is being blocked. So I'm going like this to fit in between that little area to get the bottoms of these, right? So it's auto exposure. It's gonna tune the exposure of it real quick. So it takes a five second preview and then it's success. So now I can just boom, I can just start gathering data. If you're scanning something this large, you're at about the limit of the volumetric accuracy. So when you get start at the center, you go out one meter, it's accurate, one more meter, and it, it's plus or minus like 0 0.01 or 0 0.1 mm -hmm. millimeter. So scanning something like this in two sections, maybe three scans, it aligns. If this process and technology sounds like something that would be applicable to your business, please check out our website or contact us. Shoot us an email, give us a phone call. We're happy to answer any and all questions that you may have so that you can make sure you're getting the correct scanner for your needs. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that like and subscribe. Have a positive rest of your day and we'll see you on the next video.